Awesome. So, uh, Kenny, thanks for coming by. Um, so we're here at uh, at the CryptoPoco event, and it's great to see other fellow like fabricators and manufacturers here. Can you tell us a little bit about your your business? Yes, sir. I appreciate you guys having me here. Uh, I own a company called Wits End Fabrication. Uh, we're located in Hanover, Maryland, and we primarily work on hot rods and off-road vehicles like Jeeps and trucks and such. Uh, what we do is we handle we handle a lot of problems that other shops aren't capable of or just plainly don't know how. So we get into a lot of problem solving with what we do. Yeah. Definitely. Um, a, lot of, a lot of custom pieces and parts. Um, we have to manufacture on site or uh, outsource if we don't have the capabilities for it. Okay. Uh, so it's a day-to-day -day thing for us. So it's 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 pretty. So to people who aren't that familiar with the manufacturing industry, it would, it, it's, would you say it's fair to characterize it? Manufacturers are both the, the 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 buyers and the suppliers for any given like manufacturing process, for example. Oh, for sure. I mean, we're we're on both sides of the board when it comes exactly. to manufacturing. There's no two ways about it. And so, and you mentioned earlier that you had some difficulty sometimes sourcing precision parts. Say. Yes, precision parts. That's a, as far as I'm concerned, a dying art. Yeah. Um, it seems that today's youth just kind of just let it go. Yeah. Uh, the machinists that I work with mostly are in their 60s, 70s and such. Um, but you know, there, there are a few guys around town that we, we look to and I think for them there's a slight battle of having the equipment necessary to be able to, to do the parts that we need. So there's a lot of uh, kind of like legacy equipment out there that requires more manual understanding and then a lot of more capable, more advanced machine that's come on but it's like got a higher price tag. And yep. like workforce development and, and training the next generation of machinists is a really important topic. And so figuring out how to incentivize the new generation to participate, but also the existing generation to be more responsive. Yes, yes. And I mean, as with most small businesses, small industries, um, cash flow is key. Yeah. So it's a back backbone, absolutely, to growth and, and just bettering what you're able to do and being successful. Um, and I know, I know trying to maintain cash flow can be difficult. Yeah. Uh, you get a lot of wasted time, wasted effort on things, and you know, w with what you guys are doing, I'm very hopeful that the things are going to turn around. So, would you say? So, first of all, like, what what was your original interest coming here? Was it mainly for the 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 cryptocurrency component or the blockchain component or both? So I'm here for just utter knowledge. Okay. Um, I've been involved with cryptocurrency for about a, a, a year or so now. Um, it's been a fun ride. Yep. Um, and I've met a lot of people already. Uh, cryptocurrency has helped with, with my business. It's uh, also helped with some, some other businesses that I'm involved with. Uh, and I'm here to learn and, and just see what's out there, what can be done, because every day I realize that there's just one more possibility yep. that I didn't know about. So what with what uh, so here at SyncFab basically what we're doing is we want to leverage blockchain into the manufacturing supply chain space starting initially with uh, precision parts and precision production. Um, would, do you kind of understand what we're what we're what we're looking to do and do you, do you see like benefits for the industry? I, I definitely do. Um, I mean cryptocurrency as a whole has revolutionized already quite a few different things yeah and I think uh, you guys being involved to connect the dots for you know small businesses yep. like my mine and, and others would make a huge huge step in the right direction like essentially what we want to do is offer you guys you know the MFG token to quote more to quote more jobs to yes. quote more RFQs and where you guys are currently putting together estimate packages basically in your in your in your free time taking time out of your busy day you know, anywhere from a half an hour to half a day, sometimes half a week, depending on the complexity of the job and what else, whatever else you got going on in the shop, that regardless whether or not you win the business, you're gonna get some kind of income there. And that that is much appreciated. Uh, the concept of that is beautiful. I know that I spend time with estimates and they don't always work out and it's just a loss. Right. It's a loss at that rate. Um, and it's also just trying to bring in new jobs. It's you know, you got you got your price of marketing, or you're you're running off a of word of mouth, and this helps make a nice web to just tie it in a little bit closer. So that's another thing is, um, so the budgeting, the the sales and marketing costs, 
and budgets that may have been available to you guys previously, like since the margins have been shaved so razor thin, like there's really not that much room to go out and do a lot of marketing. So what we hope to achieve for you guys is to bring you more business organically and naturally. And actually give us a margin to work with. And give you a margin <laughs> to work with because that's another area is like we don't want to tell you guys what to charge for your work. No. We definitely. want to give you that's guys cool. the flexibility, you know, to just tell us what you can do the job for. And that's that's one thing the the larger industries have, have really tightened the screws on us. It's hard to compete. Right. Uh, I have customers that come in and they say, hey, you know, I'd like to have you build uh, fill in the blank, whatever it is. I found it in this magazine. It's a thousand dollars. And yep. I say, well, you found it in a magazine from a very large scale company to, to replicate this. Right. It's not going to fall into that price range. Right. And so there'll be different applications for different shops. Some will be more applicable to the prototypes or the you know kind of small volume. But regardless, just taking the time to quote the job, you're going to get an income stream for that. And then in addition, you know, you're going to get an opportunity to look at a more diverse range of, of interesting jobs. That's that's the aim. Yeah, that that's phenomenal, really. And just the, the the networking as a whole, I think just being able to work closer with with you guys, for example, which ties us to everybody else, is fantastic. And then also the ability to so okay. I don't want to say that other folks are behind, but the fact that you know you're here and we're both here, I mean, it shows that you're very like progressive thinking in a way, like very forward thinking. And so, like in terms of getting the industry to think more about blockchain, can you see the implications that we're trying to achieve in terms of offering this token to the shops to quote more jobs? That it might get them to open their mind more to think how they can troubleshoot from the shop floor to be more compatible with blockchain to think about what is blockchain and how can they be more compatible with blockchain to improve their own business. Yeah, no, I, I can definitely see where you guys are pulling it together on that. Um, I mean, what I've learned about blockchain is just how it's able to relay information very quickly. And I know when I work on certain jobs, certain estimates, and I have to try to acquire information and so forth, send it back, it does take a while. And if we can work on a network like that in sending and receiving just the info for a job, that would be phenomenal. Yeah. That's exactly that. That's exactly what we're thinking. So, kind of like normal parameters like um, volume, order size, turnaround time, tolerance, callouts, materials used. All that information can be captured and stored on the blockchain. Yeah, and that's incredible. Executed in a smart contract and compensated at least for the RFQ in the form of a token. The underlying value of the contract itself could still be transacted in the normal for the normal consideration, but that the token can be applied for that income stream. Anyway, that that awesome. that's pretty much it. I appreciate you taking the time, Kenny. I appreciate the time and as well. We're really we're really excited about getting the industry more involved. We're really excited that you're here today. Uh, I'm I'm definitely down to support you guys for sure. I think what you're doing is incredible, and it's just nice to see the the practical application side of this. That's it. So, yeah, I, All right. I'm with you guys. Awesome. Thank you, Kenny. No, definitely. It was a pleasure. All right. Can cool. Ask, can I ask you a couple questions? Yeah, yes, sir. How did you end up here at, uh, at this conference, and, and, and how did you end up at the table at St. Fab? What brought you guys to this moment? So, like I said, I've been involved with cryptocurrency, I suppose, for you know a year now, and through just researching and, and gathering whatever info I could, I, I stumbled across uh, Jeff Berwick, the Dollar Vigilante, and uh, through following him, I found out about this whole event. And if it wasn't for you know, some of the gains that I've, I've had from cryptocurrency, I don't know that I could you know, afford to walk away from my small business for, for you know, four or five days and make it out here. And uh, That's so true. Yeah, exactly. Taking, taking the time. It, it, it's a time, it's a money, it's opportunities that I have found within the cryptocurrency community. It's just phenomenal. And while walking through here, I see, you know, SyncFab. Well, that already raises the brow. It says Fab. I mean, let's There's a fabrication real. It's, right it's right there. Right here. Uh, so, you know, it really perked my ears. So, well, what do you guys have to offer? What are you all about? And, I mean, here we are. I, I definitely feel like I can uh, connect with you guys. I like it. Like you too. Fantastic. Yeah, this, is, this is cool. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah, because we really just wanted to show you know how like there's so many there's folks here you know from the manufacturing industry, so many different areas in at at, at this event, and so really yeah. we want to educate them about what we're doing, 
and also, you know, we also get to see, you know, other people from our industry here. So it's great. And I'll certainly be spreading the word as soon as I get back in town, talking to all my buddies. That, I mean, we're, we're a close-knit group that do very similar things. And, and the great thing is, I mean, you're investing your own hard-earned, you know, earnings into the crypto space. But what we're talking about is letting you and your buddies earn additional crypto, just doing what you already do yeah. for where you currently don't make any earnings. And that is phenomenal. like you said, taking out your time to come here, taking yep. your time to quote jobs and give estimates, compensating you with a token for that. Yeah, I, I like it. Awesome. I like it. You guys are onto something big, I think. Thank you, Kenny. <laughs> we think so too. But yeah. to hear that coming from you <laughs> means that much more. Perfect, perfect. All right, thanks yeah. again. Yeah, no problem. Or maybe Rom had another question. Anyway, I just anyway. want you to look at the camera and just say your name, say your full name, and then uh, we don't have you even bringing in release forms to get with us. Maybe you can, if you're okay with it, yeah. you just say your name and you say, I'm, I'm, I'm good with SyncFab using this footage to promote themselves on their, through their materials. Okay. So we're paid for this promotion. Okay. All right. My name's Kenny Bell. I uh, I approve of SyncFab having this to use in their marketing and so forth. Uh, however, you guys see fit. And I was not paid. <laughs> Absolutely. Walking by, free, sat down. This has been great. Uh, organic. Ken, Kenny, you're the man. <laughs> Thank you very <laughs> much. Thank you very much, buddy. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah. It's a pleasure, guys.